Live from your local news source, this is ABC 27 News at 5. Good evening, I'm Valerie Pritchett. I'm Alicia Richard, so glad you're with us. Lebanon police are investigating after an officer shot and killed a dog. Police say the dog had wandered out of one yard and into another. Sonica Bargo joins us with the latest Sonica. Alicia, Valerie, this happened on Wednesday when a homeowner called police saying he found a stray dog in his backyard. When he tried to give the dog water, police say the homeowner told them the dog growled. And we want to warn you, some viewers may find this story upsetting. Around 10.30 a.m. on July 6th, Lebanon police were called to a home where the owner said a stray dog had turned up in the backyard. Police say they called for help from the County Humane Society and the PA dog warden, but no one was available. Officers say they didn't know who owned the dog. It had no collar. Police say they spent about an hour trying to take care of this. Surveillance video from the home shows us only about two minutes worth. It appears to show the officer is trying to capture the dog with a catch pole. The dog appears to struggle against the pole and eventually the video shows an officer drawing his handgun. We've frozen the video before the gun is fired. According to Lebanon Police Chief Todd Briner, the officers believed that if the dog escaped, it would attack and says shooting was, quote, regrettable and a last resort. The homeowner's doorbell camera recorded a brief conversation with police. It was only our only option if it got off that noose. We were, we were going to be on the receiving end of a four-legged chainsaw. The homeowner has not shared any video with Lebanon police, which says it's doing a routine internal investigation. We've reached out to police chief Todd Briner and Lebanon mayor Sherry Capello. We want to know the names of the officers involved, what training police get for situations like this, what standard procedure is, and whether any of the officers have been involved in similar situations in the past. Mayor Capello responded they are not naming the officers involved. She added this is a tragedy and not the ending anyone wanted, including officers. We're also told the dog Gunner was adopted just under a year ago from Davis Dog Farm, a nonprofit which rehabilitates and rehomes stray and surrendered dogs. Gunner from day one was a smushy, lovey, affectionate and cuddly puppy. What I hope for as a community and the police force is that we find a way to move forward in a way that allows this to never happen again. Police add that they believe someone may have opened a gate that allowed Gunner out of his owner's yard in the first place, and they're investigating that as well. In the newsroom, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News. Thank you, Sonica.